Hi folks, it's Max from Nexus4Root.com. So today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Nexus 4. Um, to overclock your Nexus 4, of course you'll need a rooted uh, Nexus 4, first of all. And second, um, you'll need to install a custom kernel. Uh, one of those I recommend um, that will run on any Android 4.2.2. If you have Android 4.2.2, this will work on your stock phone or if you have a custom ROM. Uh, it's the Fox Kernel, as you can see I've got Fox Kernel. He has a couple different kernels. Now if you want overclocking, you'll have to go with uh, his uh, overclockable kernel. Um, it's called the Turbo Boost Ultimate, which allows you to overclock up to 1.944, which I've got here running at uh, 1.944 GHz instead of the stock uh, 1.5 GHz. And also he's got another one called Mainline. I'll have both of the links um, depending on which one you want to use. You can try the uh, Ultimate or the Mainline. The Mainline is a little bit lower at 1.836 GHz. And also both kernels allow you to overclock your GPU even to uh, 487 uh, MHz. Now to actually overclock uh, on most Android 4.2.2 ROMs, you should have a performance menu. If you don't, just go to build number on your custom ROM or uh, on your custom ROM, hit it until it says you're a developer and you should be able to see the performance menus. If you don't see it, you can also install uh, CPU overclocking apps such as Set CPU. Uh, you can get it on the market or get it free at XDA. You can Google it and install the APK file. Um, so basically, you'll need an overclocking app that will actually allow you to overclock or have used the performance settings on your custom ROM like I do and you'll be able to overclock your CPU. Now if you want to overclock GPU uh, on the Fox kernel, you'll have to get the Fox 123 Kernel Enhancement Pro, uh, which allows you to overclock your GPU, uh, mess with your screen, a bunch of more tuning you can do with it. Um, but it's $4.99, so you'll, you'll have to uh, pay for it. Uh, but for most people, if you just need you know make your phone a little bit faster, um, you can just install a custom kernel, this one. I highly recommend it and install it. Uh, quadro numbers, I did get light, slightly higher, maybe near 6,000 from like the low 5,000 on stock. Um, so it does make your phone quite quite faster, uh, maybe like 20% uh, or so. Uh, for those of you who play a lot of games or, you know, if, I mean it is fast already, but if you just have to overclock, definitely check it out. Let me show you how to install the kernel. You'll need Android 4.2.2. Um, to get this uh, working, make sure um, make sure you have Android 4.2.2 for this one, and uh, go ahead and reboot into recovery. You can power your phone off uh, if you don't have the recovery menu button on your custom mount. Go ahead and hold down volume down and the power. And of course, I assume that you downloaded your kernel t and copy it over to your phone or download it straight to your phone, and go to recovery mode. And then you're simply going to install it from there uh, using Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp, whatever your favorite recovery you're using. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. And just do the standard uh, install from zip card, choose zip from SD card. It's the same as installing a custom ROM. You don't have to do a wipe. Um, you don't do a wipe for this. Go to download and or wherever you put the file and simply find it and you'll see I've tested some of the other kernels here. Uh, also, if you don't need overclocking, try a matrix kernel, which also comes with uh, GP overclocking enabled by default. And the kernel, um, this is it, Mako JB kernel TBU. This is the ultimate version. So it is it's just a zip file. You just install it, and it will install the kernel. Now, there is a note on the Nexus 4. If you installed Franco kernel before, um, you can end up in the soft brick, so just flash your ROM again, and then flash uh, the, this new kernel. If if you ever go on Franco kernel, Franco kernel on the Nexus 4 has this RAM disk that costs soft boots. If you install another kernel right after it, um, you can solve that by installing your original ROM over it without wipe. What that will do is um, just kind of uh, write over Franco kernel with whatever kernel your custom ROM came with. And then you can install a uh, ROM like, or, sorry, kernel like Fox kernel here. Um, but looking pretty good, so definitely check it out. If you need overclocking, 
highly recommend Fox Kernel. I've tried uh, the Trinity Kernel, it's pretty good too, and also Franco Kernel is not too bad uh, either. But uh, um, you know, this Fox Kernel uh, provides the most uh, overclocking up to 1.944 gigahertz, and also you can undervolt, uh, which can save you battery life. Um, you'll need another app for it or use the Fox Kernel app um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it but do check it out and uh, overclock your Nexus 4 and uh, you know even if you don't need to do it you can just do it for fun it's pretty safe I have a full uh, explanation on how overclocking works on phones and it's very safe to do I mean you know and overclocking doesn't mean your phone's gonna actually run at 1.944 gigahertz all the time it's only gonna ramp up as it's needed there we go, 56.94. A slight bump. Just think of it as a slight bump. You know, wake you up a little bit. Um, so check it out, and do let me know what you think of Fox Kernel, and that's how you can overclock your Nexus 4 on Android 4.2.2. And if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And if you have a Nexus 4, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, nexus4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week, sometimes kernel of the week and um, more stuff, cool stuff like that. And by the way, this is the S4 ROM, which comes with TouchWiz. Uh, th this was my last review. You can check that out too if you want to run uh, this on your Nexus 4. But running fast, faster. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.